Should we wait for James? No, let's start. James is right now at the office drafting a statement on Derek's health status. So quickly? It's to boost shareholders' confidence. Always business first with Eunice and James. Whether Derek returns as CEO or not is good for Shelley Holdings and should be shared. Well, it's going to open a floodgate for visitors. And potential infections. We can always limit visitors. And screen them. We should run this by Derek. He is in no state of mind to make any decisions. Derek would want to be in the loop. What he needs, Celia, is the space to recuperate properly. <laughs> How do you like our family drama? Not the first time, huh? <laughs> Hope you're looking forward to meeting Dad. Rumour has it that Mr. Derek Shelley woke up. Zareen, you got any update on Mr. Derek Shelley? No. Nothing official has been released. So let's not feed the rumour mill. Of course he's the last you know. He's no one. He's just Shira's errand boy. The doctors want to monitor Derek's progress very closely, so it's best that he stays in the hospital for now. Derek might get bored. I think maybe Dad was bored. That's why he woke up. What if we bring him home? He might recuperate faster. We can convert one of the rooms here into a medical suite and hire private nurses to care for him. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't want hospital staff everywhere all over the house. But hospitals are so sterile. It may be just what he needs to push him harder to come home. If he is that uncomfortable, we can always redesign the ward. If he is that uncomfortable, he should redesign the entire hospital. But nothing beats the comfort of home, though. Too comfortable and he might get complacent. You want to slow down his recovery? I don't think anything can hold Derek back now. He looks so sharp and strong as before. Sorry to be a wet blanket, but just because he smiled and muttered a few words does not mean he knows what's going on. He does. How do you know? I can read his mind. I know how he feels, his likes and dislikes. Daddy and I have a special bond. This part needs to be rewarded. What don't you like about it? Well, that I come across as my father's seat warmer? For the past 18 months? Oh. I didn't mean it that way. And I don't think it was that way too. I know you would have been the best person to run this by. But she's not here. I am aware of that. Speaking of Ananya, there's some unhappiness from the staff concerning her departure. You may want to address that. Just rework this, okay? Here you go, for next month's expenses. Where did you get the money? <laughs> I got it from the last freelance gig I did. Is this everything? It's too much. I owe you. No, you don't. Yes, for just uh, leaving. Ken, it's all in the past. And I want to make up for it. I want to make sure we're all okay. Having lunch? Not today. Can you tell Deanna I'm waiting for her outside? Uh, okay. Yeah. Everyone is just buttering Derek up. Especially Ella. Acting as if Derek is still her father. But don't worry. Once Derek is well enough, I will bring you to see him. What's wrong? I don't think I'm ready to see him. I'm not like Ella. Knows how to talk and read his mind. Maybe I should MIA for a while. MIA? I want to go for this course. Business management? But it's in Hong Kong and it starts the day after tomorrow. It's only for a few days. I really want to learn more about business. And I've never been to Hong Kong. Actually, I've never been overseas, other than Malaysia. I really want to go. You shouldn't go alone. 
I'll go with you. No, you better stay here with Derek. I can take care of myself. I already checked. There's a flight in the afternoon. I can leave today. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Derek has business partners there. I'll arrange for them to take care of you. Hey. Is that how you treat the customer? You don't pay for the food. I don't get any respect at home. I don't get any respect at work. What's wrong? Keith's been referring me as your errand boy behind my back. He talks crap about everybody. Just ignore him. That's not the point. I've been undermining... Don't let them get under your skin. Let your work speak for itself. Hey, why didn't you come in just now? Looked like you were having a private conversation. Didn't want to intrude. Glad to see you and Kenneth are patching things up. He's making an effort. But it still hurts whenever I think about the night when Kenneth left. If I were you, I would have ditched him too. <sighs> it's different. I still love him. Ugh, love makes fools of us all, huh? Yeah. Hey, for your annual birthday at the bar last, mm. will it be any different? No. You make the plans, I do nothing and come in like the birthday princess. Must I spell it out? Is Thomas coming? I didn't invite him. I told him I spent it with you. And you didn't invite him. How rude can you be? It's not like it dampened his spirits. No! He's still excited and wants to celebrate my birthday. Mrs. Shelley. Why is Shira coming back? Not for a while. I can't imagine her taking all four months of her maternity leave. Yes, she will. So in the meantime, you're sitting in her chair. <laughs> Something tells me I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Shira doesn't strike me as a type who would toss her career aside for her baby. <laughs> She's my wife. I know her best. Her first priority is our baby. Oh, really? So how can I help you, Mrs. Shelley? How come there's no press release on Derek regaining consciousness? It's been done. But James rejected all my drafts. He doesn't like any of them? Show me. James, why haven't you approved this press release about your father? It still needs work. No, it doesn't. It's good to go. Tell Zarin to release it. James, in the last 18 months, I saw how you stepped out of your father's shadow and come into your own. I will not have you regress back to the indecisive former self just because your father came out of his coma. Mom, you just... Even with him up, he is in no condition to leave the company. You will continue to be the CEO of Shelley Holdings. There's no question. What if I don't want to? So, Keith. Uh... Yes, boss. Can you update this and email it to me? Sure. By today? Yes, preferably. No problem, boss. How's that, Eddie? Is it firm enough for Shall I get another to change it? Uh, it's, it's fine. Leave it. Did you finish your lunch? Or shall I get you something special, like your favourite chakra gel? He needs to go easy on his stomach for a while. The digestive system takes a while to get used to solid food. I'll get it for you. After Uncle Richard sees, you can eat it. Are you tired, Daddy? Mm. I think we should go and let him rest. I'll come and visit you tomorrow.
It's very nice of you to visit Derek. Of course. Anything for Daddy. He's not your daddy. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to worm your way back into the family. Not everyone is like you, Jessica. I'm here because Daddy loves me and I love him. We'll always be a family. Nothing can change that. You'll never be a Shelley. He'll never cut me off like you did. Nor will he forgive you for doing that. I'll come back and check on Derek again later. I want you to reinstate the visitation ban on Derek. He's becoming more insistent on what he wants. You know how hard it's been. Don't be ridiculous, James. What do you mean you don't want to be CEO? Dad's back. My job is done. He needs you more than ever before. He's been out of it for more than a year. I am done. Okay? He's never thought much of me, nor believed in me. James, your father was tough on you because he wanted you to be better. And you have stepped up to the plate and proved your mettle in the past 18 months. I'm sure the board of directors will continue to support you. If you're afraid that your father might disapprove of your work... I am not afraid of him. I just... I need to get away from him. Is this about your father and Ananya? He's back. I kept his company alive. My duty is done. I don't need this. This needs to be tweaked. Why? I think the copy can be better. This is exactly what Shira would have wanted. You know what? Scrap this. What? I want to approach it differently. From the direction of our corporate social responsibility initiatives. From scratch? Yes. I want it in by end of today. It's already five. So get started. Shira would not change things like that at the last minute. Shira is not in charge now. I am. You think you're in charge. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever that means, For a birthday gift? Yes, uh, for Ananya. For a birthday. Of course, you know. <laughs> Found anything? No, I can't decide what to get. It's so hard when she can get anything she wants. Uh huh. Or I could help you out. Could you? I I've got a rush for a meeting now. How about tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be done in the afternoon. Great. <laughs> I'll be here. Sure. Thanks so much. Okay. Please don't walk away. <laughs> That's funny coming from you. Look, I don't have time for you. I've been busy visiting my father at the hospital. wants to visit Derek, how can I stop her? To her, he will always be her father. You think Derek Shelley will accept Ella when he finds out she's not his real daughter? Maybe. Ella always talk about how nice Derek was to her. Derek Shelley is not a nice person. He's cunning, controlling and ruthless. You don't know what he's capable of. You know him? Huh? Have you met him before? How would I meet someone like him? I'm just saying, rich and successful people don't become rich and successful simply because they're nice. The write-up on the VVIP wing will be sent to the magazine once James gives his approval. 
So you've always intended to bypass Zarin. I'm impressed, Shira. How do you manage to be on top of things while you're on maternity leave? Keith has been updating me on everything. Nothing gets passed until I approve. It's like you've never left. <laughs> I just want to make sure everything runs smoothly while I'm away. Zarin thinks you intend to quit to be a full-time mother. He's mistaken. He seems mistaken on quite a few things. Anyway, don't worry, Mrs. Shelley. I have everything under control. Well, Shira, I won't hold you up. You're on leave after all. <laughs> Goodbye. You really need to do better, Zarin. Know when you're being played or you're of no use to me at all. What do you want? You didn't reply to my message. I don't respond to threats. I'm serious. If Ella gets hurt, I won't let you get away with it. Then you tell Ella to stay away. Listen. No, you listen. I have my hands full with Derek and everything else right now. I don't have time for Ella's silly games. How was your day, sayang? Oh, you know already. What do you mean, I know already? Keith hasn't updated you yet. Is he late on his daily report on me? I really am Shira's errand boy. Turns out I'm just the last to know. Do not well. I feel fine. What's going on? I want to go home now. I tried to talk him out of it. I'm being held hostage in my own hospital. Darling, you're being overdramatic. As your doctor, I'll sign a letter of indemnity. I'll be responsible for my own actions. Derek, we all want you home too. But you can't rush a recovery. The last thing you need is another infection to set you back. I just want to know what's going on. At home, at the company, nobody tells me anything. I've told you everything. I know you're upset, but look at it from my point of view. I gave you so many chances to prove yourself at work, but the reality is you're just not good enough to lead the department. You put me in charge. I didn't have a choice. You're my husband. If I didn't, you'd be upset and you'd take it out on me at home. Weren't you happy when you thought you were the boss? Leading from behind, I could protect what I've already built up at Shelley Holdings. With you in the limelight, I thought that was a wonderful arrangement. And you should too. Whatever Shira wants, Shira gets. What do you mean Derek called for a family meeting? How? Where? Apparently, he got no sister to call the whole family and turn them together here. Derek, what's this all about? It's way past visiting hours. Is everyone here? Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Just in time. James, I want you to tell everybody what you told me the other night when he came to see me. I don't know what you're talking about. That night when you came to see me and you told me how much you hated seeing me, you thought I couldn't hear you because I was in a coma. So I want you to say that again in front of everyone here and with me wide awake. What did you say, Jimmy? I said that I, um, I've been wanting to leave Shelley Holdings, that I want out. Don't stop. That I think Lewis raped a girl even though she didn't press charges. That I don't trust Jessica. Not one bit.
even though it turns out she wasn't cheating on you. And that was just the hospital mistake that Al is not a Shelly. Derek woke up. I thought you might want to know. That's what you're concerned about? Yeah, don't worry. I'll be meeting Ronnie. Bye. Calm down, Itawe. Thanks, but it's gonna take more than that to calm me down. Talking to Adib just drives me crazy. Well, don't underestimate the calming powers of silky, smooth binket till you've tried it. And you said you told me everything. Daddy. Daddy, I love you. I may not be your real daughter, but I'll always be a little girl. And you'll always be my daddy. No real daughter of mine would have lied to me like you have. Where's my real daughter? I want to meet her. She's in Hong Kong attending a business management course. She'll be back in a few days. I have photos of her. that Rose bought for me? Ma'am Shira told me to throw it away. What? Ma'am Shira said you will only wear ties that she buys. I like that tie very much. Abang, what's up with you and Shira? You stay out of it. How? Breakfast was so uncomfortable. And whenever Shira gets upset, she takes it out on Dewey. It's never like this when Carl was here. Stop there. Comparing them, it's not fair to Shira.